Hi, I'm Zhang Ke. I'm from Shanghai, and I currently teach at Fudan University Shanghai as an associate professor. I teach history, and currently I'm a visiting scholar at Harvard University this year. So I'm mainly working on uh, the history of Christianity in China, and also uh, broadly Westerners in China in 19th century and 20th century. So the reason I came here because I want to do a research. Uh, one of my current research project is about the Baptist missionaries in East China in 19th and early 20th century. And actually, the high school I went to was founded by an American Baptist missionary, uh, Mr. Sweet, in 1899. So I just went here. I, I I came here to looking for the, all these archival materials, all his personal connections here, and I found a lot of materials here, including all his correspondence, all his personal uh, documents and other. I found that I think it's quite fascinating that uh, throughout all these materials we can know more about what he has done in China, all the difficulties he faced with uh, at that period, especially in the year uh, 1898 and 1899. So, <coughs> and actually to my surprise, I found a lot of, I mean, more materials here, including all the uh, first five uh, American principles of that school. Uh, all their personal uh, documents and correspondence. And what I want to say here is uh, what is uh, more close to uh, my interest is that uh, another uh, American principal of Wayland Academy, the school I refer to, uh, his name is uh, Edward Clayton. And uh, he is uh, the last American principal uh, of the school and stayed in China, stayed in that school uh, in the 30s and early 40s, especially during the war. So at the beginning of the Japanese, uh, Chinese Japanese war that uh, the Japanese military force invaded uh, East China in 1937. At uh, December 1937, the Japanese army invaded Hangzhou, and at that time, the Baptist Missionary School, Wayland Academy, actually was uh, changed to a refugee center at that time. And Mr. Clayton and his colleagues actually helped a lot uh, uh, with all these war refugees. Uh, most of them are women and children. So I think that is a very good. Uh, it's a valuable memory, I'm quite uh, cherished, and I came here and found a lot of uh, letters, correspondence between Mr. Clayton and all his American colleagues at that time, and uh, learned a lot of details about that time period, how they established this refugee center, and how uh, they just <coughs> And I find it fascinating that uh, all these materials kept in American Baptist historical society could help us a lot to learn a lot about to learn more about uh, the history of these uh, great American Baptist missionaries in East China and what they have done their good relationship with the Chinese local people and so on.